Hi everybody. Welcome to Sundays at 7 with Mary's Craft Room. Tonight we're going to be making this cute card that I did yesterday at one of my events. It's my favorite, you know that, the book binder um, fold. And what I did for my event was I turned it into um, a gift card holder. So I tried a coffee and a card event at Autumn Pearl in Stoughton. And it's my niece's and her husband's um, coffee shop and hair salon. And we had a great time. Um, I didn't have a lot of people there, but you know what? We had fun. Um, one of my customers lives in Stoughton. She popped over to do a card. Uh, Jenna Carr came over to do a card. That was really nice. And the best part of the day, I had two adorable little girls come in to do cards. And they did a fantastic job. I was so happy with them. They came coming in with their money in their hand and a big smile on their faces. And they had never done this before. And they just really enjoyed it. So I'm going to be going back on February 5th to do a Valentine's one. So I'm looking forward to that. So it was a good try for a first time. And, and I really liked it. So anyway, I'm using my favorite tidings and trimming set. One of my favorite from the Christmas catalog, the holiday catalog and the paper that matches with it, the Tidings of Christmas paper. I just love the colors, and I think that it was a very simple, quick card, and I used Cherry Cobbler and Evening Evergreen, and it was just wonderful. Um, hi, Jenna, how are you? So Jenna, my biggest supporter, so she was there to say hi yesterday. Uh, today I've been crafting all day long, finish, finishing orders, prepping for last minute classes and I'm pooped but let's get on with making the card all right so I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna bring bring out all of my supplies here let's see what else I got in here got all kinds of goodies hiding in there all right so for the book binder this is a, the 11 inch side scored at five and a half and six and three quarters okay so we have got um, I'm gonna start with the top part this is four by four in crumb cake and then the DSP then is three and three quarters by three and three quarters so I hope everybody has had a good weekend so far I mean the weekend's almost over <laughs> nights almost over um, I had a great weekend like I said I've been crafting all day so I've got a, a friend my friend Lisa I have my friend Jenna and my friend Lisa, and Lisa helps me out so much. Um, so she came over today to um, help me prep some last-minute orders. All right, so I'm taping that down, and then I'm doing this little side piece. This ends up being a one and one quarter inch between the edge and the score line. So this then is one inch by um, five and a quarter. And then I will do three quarters of an inch by five on top of that, to layer on top of that. So I hope everybody else was nice and busy. I went out to um, Target afterwards, and oh, that was a zoo. I know it's that time of the year, but I guess I just don't know what I was expecting with everything that's still going on. But it was crazy, and I couldn't wait to get out of there and get home get to my happy place and do some more crafting. So I got home from my event and kept a crafting away. All right, so we have these front pieces done here. So now I'm just gonna put a little adhesive on here. And then I will place that right on here on this book binder edge. Okay, center that in there. Those little girls were so cute. They were so happy with their um, projects and let me take their picture. I really had a great time with them. Then I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. This is approximately five inches. And um, I am going to go run this along here. Um, it's probably longer than five inches. So what I do for my book binder then, I'm going to put some tape, some adhesive right along here to hold the ribbon down. Okay. 
and then we will glue that down solid. Otherwise, it, the card tends to pop up, and we don't want it to do that on us. Okay. We've got this, and we're going to wrap that just like that, guys. And then I'm going to take my liquid glue then, and I'll run that along there. We'll get some on the ribbon, and we'll go along here. And this will hold it down better than the ad other adhesive. I just find, feel that um, when I've done my first cards um, with the book binder, they tended to pop up. So I needed something just a little bit stronger to hold it down, and this seems to do the trick. All right, so next then I can take my other front piece that I've done and add a little adhesive there, and we'll just attach that. I'm going to see if I remember to bring everything over today for my video. All right, we'll center that down there. Okay, it's coming along nice and quickly. All right, so now we're going to stamp the front. Um, well, first I'll put down my little vellum. I did um, one of the stitched shapes, the circle, with um, the soft succulent vellum. I love this vellum. I use it all the time on stuff. It's so much fun. Um, I liked making the little pretty purses with it, um, although you have to be a little bit careful with it because it is kind of delicate with some of them. But it's so pretty on here. Just a, It fits perfect on this card. So I'm going to use this big glue dot that I have found just to hold it down in the middle. You know, some of the adhesives show through the vellum, so I try to strategically place it where it's going to get covered up anyway. Okay? So our sentiment then is going to be from the set, and it's um, may your days be merry and bright. So I'm going to do that on white and use my punch to punch that out. And then for this trim, I did cherry cobbler, and I used the same punch. I punched it out, and then I cut it in half and trimmed it down a bit so it would fit as a nice little edging on there. So it wasn't just a stark white. So we're going to do that next, and I'm going to get out my mat, my little stamping mat, because that works best. Right, Jenna? That works best. Get all my mess out of the way here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Hi, Julie. How are you? I haven't talked to you in a while. All right. I got to find this. Julie, you have a surprise coming Tuesday. Watch your mailbox. I'm just saying. All right. We've got this, and we're just going to put that right down there. It's Always, I've known this for a long time, but I just don't always do it. Using the polymer stamps, use your uh, mat underneath it because it doesn't have any cush and it just stamps so much cleaner and nicer. I'm finally getting into the habit of it. And my classes like it a lot too. All right, so we're going to just punch this out here. I'm trying to keep it, there we go. Oh, but you know what, guys? <laughs> On my card, I did it in Evening Evergreen. Let's try that again. Let's do that in Evening Evergreen the way Mary planned it originally. Oh, I gotta love videos, you know? So now I gotta quick wipe off my um, stamp and see what we can do here. I'm right behind you. Silly me. I was so excited about ch uh, cherry cobbler. All right, let's try a little evening evergreen. There we go. I think my evening evergreen needs a little juice. I've been stamping so much lately that I've been re-inking my pads like crazy. See how this goes. There we go. Evening evergreen. Wonderful. All right, let's set that aside, and we'll punch that out. See if it looks as nice as the other one did. There we go. I like to have my colors coordinating, so I don't want the same color. I don't want it all cherry cobbler. 
Not sure why I did that, but you know, that's the way it happens sometimes. So then what I do for this is I just put a little adhesive behind this sentiment. And then I have my um, little layering piece right there. And then I just place it down where I think it fits best. So like I said, I cut that in half and then I cut a little bit more off so it wasn't sticking out the side. Oh my goodness gracious. I got evening evergreen all over there. I am doing just wonderful, guys. All right, let's try this again. I hope you guys all at home craft similar to the way I do. Because some days... It can be a tad tricky, and today just happens to be one of them. Everything was going good with my other stuff that I've been working on. Let's see if it works on this end. Sure, we got plenty of room there. Okay, so from me, you get reality, that's for sure. There we go. I don't like that. That's too light. That's too light, so let's try. Let's flip it over and do it again. Do it again. This was supposed to be a quick and easy card, guys. And it really is, except I'm getting green all over. And <laughs> I'm making such a mess of it tonight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that's Mary. Just a mess. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Make sure my hands are clean. No green all over the place. Yes, I love my mat. If that's what you're asking about, Jenna. All right. Here we go. Down. No green, Mary. All righty. And... Got some adhesive there, so we'll put that right down on this piece. And we'll go there. There we go. I got it. Yay, success. <laughs> Crazy night stamping. All right, so now what I'm going to do is simply put some um, dimensions, dimensionals on this and put it on to the front of the card. So I want it to stay good. So I used um, probably more than what others would, but I put five of them on. I wanted, because I had pieces cut there, so I want to make sure it stays good. I also had a few things along with me yesterday to sell, and um, I, didn't, I didn't sell any of them, um, but I had this adorable little girl come in with her dad, and she was a little bit younger than my than Olivia and Natalie, who crafted with me. And she, he was going to maybe have her come back with her mom. And then I asked her dad if it was okay, and I gave her a little nugget sleeve. And she was so excited. I truly love crafting with little kids. I have, I am thinking of setting up special classes just for them. I've always crafted with my granddaughter, and it's just, it's a fun thing to do. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. Now what I chose to use to dress it up with was the garden gems because did you know that this is actually cherry cobbler inside this green on the little garden gems? And so I thought I would use that to pull out the cherry cobbler and then the green is perfect for it anyway. So I just put it right in here. One there. And one there, and I've got that all set. And then I'm just going to take then a short piece of ribbon that I cut, and we're going to slide that in here and just tie a simple knot. It's kind of slippery ribbon, so um, you want to make sure you tie it nice and tight, and then it should stay. There we go. So I've got that there, and then I'm just going to trim it up, put our little angles on the edges. And we've got that. 
All right, so the front is all done. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right, so then next we are going to, let's see, do our insides. And on this one, get some of my stuff out of the way here that I'm messed up with. This one is going to use the inside sentiment that says, wishing you a joyful Christmas and happy new year. And I'm going to also do that in evening evergreen. So let's get our stamping mat back out. Get that up here. I'm running out of room tonight, guys. All right, we'll put that right here. Good. And then I'm going to use the little sprig that comes in there, the little berries. And that I'm going to do in Cherry Cobbler. And I'm just going to place that right in the corner, like that. And then as long as I have it out, I'm going to do the same thing on my envelope. And I'm going to do that right down here in the corner. If you can see that. There we go. Cute. Just, just a little decoration. All right, so now we'll put a little adhesive on the back of here. There we go. And we'll center that. And then we'll put that in the middle. And there is, let's put it the right way, <laughs> there's our card. But now I'd like to make it into a gift card holder, okay? So what I need to do is take, I took a piece of um, cardstock. I put, I took the crumb cake and then I took another piece of the designer series paper. And I have, this is um, three, three quarter, let's see. No, it's four by about two and a half. And then this is three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And then I'm going to add, attach the DSP right to the cardstock. We'll center that. And then take any size circle punch. Um, I'm doing a card or a gift card class tomorrow, so almost all of my punches are packed up already. So I got one of this. I've got an old one-inch punch, so I'm going to just use that. So you've got a slot where somebody can grab the gift card out. Then I'm going to take some tear and tape. And the tear and tape will go right on the two edges here and along the bottom. So tomorrow I've got one of my last classes out at my church where they're doing um, three different gift card holders. So they're going to do six gift cards for $15, two of each design. So I have three designs. All right, so we'll just pull that off. And then Wednesday night I have one last card class. Tuesday night I have my team Christmas party. And then, guys, I think I can relax for the rest of December and take a little bit of a break. And I'm struggling right now with this, with my tear and tape. It's on here good. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to place it right down here on the bottom of the inside of the card. And it fits perfect for a gift card. You can slide it right in there and the, the recipient can grab it out very easily. And there you guys go. A simple little card, Christmas card, turned into a gift card holder. All in one. Little pretty package. Hope you like it. 
Um, hope you didn't think I was too crazy tonight, but you know how that goes. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Some nights, and I've been at it all day. So here it is. I hope you'll love it. I do. And my class is going to do this on Wednesday night, and I know they're looking forward to it too. Have a great night. Thanks for watching me. I really appreciate it. Have a great night, guys, and a great start to your week tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.